Light Yagami, Lelouch v. Britannia, Kyotaka Ayanakoji. These are some of the smartest characters that I have ever seen in anime and manga. And it is in part because of their overwhelming intelligence and manipulative ability that each and every one of these characters have a charisma and allure that places them among the best of the best when it comes to anime protagonists. And in my search to find more characters that fit into this archetype of intelligent manipulator, I made a massive discovery. I found another protagonist that can stack up to some of the greats, Yuichi Kataguri, the protagonist of Tomodachi game and the best anime protagonist of 2022. Now, claiming that Yuichi is the greatest main character of this year is not a claim that I made very lightly. In case you weren't aware, 2022 is kind of stacked when it comes to anime. Already, we've had Attack on Titan Part 2 of its final season come to a conclusion, and anime fans can look forward to seeing the return of Bleach in My Hero Academia, as well as the debut of Chainsaw Man, among many other really, really good series that have great protagonists. So when I say Yuichi is the best one of the year, that means a lot. And while it took me a while to really come to the conclusion that Yuichi was the best, after rereading Tomodachi Game, my answer as to why he is the best protagonist of 2022 and one of my favorite characters to come out of manga in years became clear. Yuichi isn't the deepest or most nuanced character that I've seen. In fact, he's not the most deep or nuanced character that I've seen in the past couple of months. This isn't to say that he has no layers to him or that he's only a one-dimensional character, but his main core appeal doesn't come from those aspects within the series. When I talk about Yuichi's appeal, I'm talking about his ability to completely immerse me within the story and narrative of Tomodachi game. I'm talking about his ability to entertain. Now, in terms of entertainment factor, there are very few characters that I've seen in fiction that match up to Yuichi. From his facial expressions to his dialogue, everything that this character does just captures my intention and does not let go. A massive contributor to Yuichi's ability to do this is the very nature of the manga that he's in. You see, very similarly to something like Code Geass or Death Note, Tomodachi game handles its conflict through a battle of wits rather than using physical violence like your conventional battle shonen. As a result of this, Yuichi is put in mentally taxing positions over and over and over again and is then forced to overcome them and beat them by sheer ingenuity and mental manipulation. And there is something special about seeing characters contest each other purely through their wits and schemes that just makes for entertaining scenarios and situations. It is for this reason that so many people love Death Note and the dynamic that Light and L have. The cat and mouse back and forth that these two characters engage in is some of the most tense and stress-inducing scenes in manga, period. And Tomodachi Game scratches a very, very similar itch. Game after game, our protagonist is put in disadvantageous situations and works his way through them in some of the most unexpected and complex ways that I've seen. One thing that I really love about Yuichi, though, is that he isn't just randomly or arbitrarily smart. He's not just some super genius because he was born that way, nor do his abilities in the mental department come off as overpowered. In fact, Yuichi doesn't describe himself as all that smart, with his grades in school reflecting his own conventional intelligence. His main advantage, the skill that allows him to come out on top through these mental games, is his ability to read people, his understanding of the human condition. Yuichi is excellent at breaking down humans on a fundamental level and reading and perceiving patterns that even the person in question hasn't noticed. As a result of these insane abilities, Yuichi excels at destroying human connections and is even better at manipulating people through several layers of psychology. In retrospect, his strategies never seem overtly complex or convoluted. In fact, the line of thinking that he takes is very straightforward if you have the same level of knowledge on the human condition as he does, and as any thriller and mystery based story should be, Tomodachi game allows you the opportunity to piece things together yourself and come to your own conclusions. Now I personally was never right in what I hypothesized the outcome to be, but that isn't because the manga excluded any possibilities or removed integral information from me, 
it's because the author was able to create a character like Yuichi that can logically and realistically subvert the expectations of almost any reader through his very specific skill set. Believe it or not, the ability to subvert expectations in a way that doesn't sink of bullshit is very difficult. Oftentimes, authors get caught up in the idea of subverting an audience's expectations, and because of this, they end up conjuring a story full of plot holes or major plot contrivances that make rereads very unenjoyable. In my experience with this manga and specifically Yuichi, that has never been the case. This character keeps me on my toes at all times, and the heart-pounding danger that he gets caught in makes his triumphs in this manga hit so much harder. He's such a great character, in fact, that I would go so far as to say that he carries Tomodachi game on his back. This isn't to say that the supporting cast or antagonists are bad or weak in any way. In fact, there are some really great moments in this manga that have absolutely nothing to do with Yuichi. However, the reason I say he carries the series is because he is so appealing in this manga that he clearly shines through as the best thing that this series has to offer. His discoveries and victor explanations are some of the rawest and coolest things in recent manga, and I really can't help but like a character who fits into this sort of intelligent manipulator trope so well. If you like characters like Light, Lelouch, or Ayana Koji, I really do expect Yuichi to become an all-time favorite for you simply because of how uniquely he fits into this trope and how well he executes it, almost to what I would consider perfection. There are plenty of great and valid picks for the best protagonist of this year in all honesty. So coming to the decision that Yuichi stood atop the pile was not an easy decision. Even so, he was able to climb to the top after my reread of the series and affirmation of its quality. So I hope that if you're aware of my sort of opinion on many other protagonists, how highly I value them, this should put into perspective how much I like Yuichi as a character. If you have read Tomodachi Game, let me know what you think of him in the comments. Is he as great of a protagonist as I'm making him seem in your eyes? I'm very curious to what the consensus is, so let me know down below. But if you are part of the very large crowd that has not watched or read Tomodachi Game, start that now. The anime started relatively recently, so if you're not really a manga person, you can watch that. And if you are a fan of reading manga over watching anime like myself, the manga has excellent art and is an amazing reading experience all around. In any case, enjoy Tomodachi Game, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you all with another upload very soon.